How's it going, everyone? Uh, it's me, man. Uh, today I'm working on a 95 Honda Accord uh, VTEC 2.2 liter. And um, it's my uh, recently purchased project car. It's new to me, of course. But it has issues, engine issues, and body issues. I'm going to be showing how I'm going to be repairing it and restoring it because I tend to like this body style. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's nice. But anyway, today I'm doing a valve adjustment and I encountered a problem. The problem is when I tried to break the adjustment screw and the nut loose, they don't independently spin from each other the nut and the screw spin together and it seems to be seized up so I got the adjustment tool for Honda's and the screw part does not loosen it so um, I've been using a wrench and a, a screwdriver to break them loose but still tight and I don't want to damage the head on it on the adjustment screw so I don't have a torch and I don't know if I would use a torch with oil and you know an engine might catch fire I don't know I don't even want to try it but what I learned is uh, I don't have a torch you gotta improvise and you have a heat gun and what I've been doing is I heat up the nut and just my screw together until it starts to sizzle and smoke a little bit and you know it's getting nice and hot and it's just enough for me to wrench on it and hold the, the adjustment screw together and it starts to break loose. It takes a little effort but it's better than damaging the, the head of the adjustment screw. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing and hopefully it works for you guys. Um, but if you guys don't have this issue, then don't worry about it. But this is for the people that may have encountered it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I'm going to be doing this, these right here, uh, cylinder four exhaust valves. And I've already done one, two, three, and on the exhaust side. And I marked the purple one that I heated, heated up with the heat gun. Um, purple and then the green ones right here. Uh, the ones that I properly adjusted that I didn't have to heat up because uh, I just marked these purple because I'm gonna go back and recheck them when the engine is completely cold because I did have to heat it up like I said and it might throw off the adjustment so once it's completely cold I'm gonna go back and recheck those so let's see I haven't busted these loose yet but let's see if they give me the same problem so here we go I got the tool I'll adjust the tool for Honda. That's loose. I don't know if you guys can see, but the nut's loose and it turns with the adjustment screw. It doesn't want to turn. It's stuck. So, what I've been doing is I grab a little PB blaster because I know it's got rust in there somehow. I don't know how, but or gunk. A very little bit amount of it. Hopefully, it soaks inside. Soaks inside. Yeah. I'm gonna try this method wrench and screwdriver flathead. Let's see if it 
on this, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to grab a heat gun. And I don't have a torch. So this is my my way of doing it, I guess. It doesn't budge. Some more pressure on it. tight. See that adjustment screw doesn't want to come loose. I'm pushing down on it with the flat head and still doesn't do it. And I don't want to, to start messing up the little um, flat head part of it. So what I'm going to do now is take the heat gun and Put it on high and then blast it with heat. And you'll see it start to like sizzle and smoke a little bit on whatever oil it has in there. But when you don't have a, blow, uh, a torch or whatever, this is a good well, it seems to be working for me, so it seems to be a good way to do it. Get it nice and hot. You can start seeing a little smoke coming out now. You guys can see the smoke. It's probably just some of the oil burning off. Now, I'm gonna try again this screw and a uh, screwdriver and wrench method again because I can put more a little bit more torque on this adjustment screw. You gotta push down on it because then if not you'll start messing up the adjustment screw top. See that? You guys can see that now. Now I'm able to turn it. See, you just have to work it back and forth. Just keep working it back and forth. Put a little bit of PG blast in there to get the gunk out. WD-40, whatever you want to use. Some kind of penetrating loop. And then just keep working it. Just keep working it. And you'll start seeing the gunk come out at the bottom. Because the penetrating loop, the PU blaster is working its way through. There you go. So now, now it moves independently. And I can take my feeler gauge. Right there. Now I can take my feeler gauge and do the valve adjustment like normal. And I can do it with my actual tool for valve adjustment. Come on. Check it. A little bit drag there. And that's it. I just, uh, I'm not gonna do show the valve adjusting. I just wanted to show you 
in case you guys encountered this problem with the adjustment screw being kind of seized up and not moving independent from the nut and having trouble to you know removing it I mean not removing it but getting it loose um, that's it for this video it's just a quickie video and uh, if it helps you give me a thumbs up hopefully you guys will subscribe and I'll bring more stuff like this that can be helpful to you guys and get you out of little troubles here and there uh, sometimes I have to find out the hard way but if I could pass on whatever I learned to you it's a good day so you guys stay safe and see you guys later